Fucking Normies Podcast. Hey, what up, ladies and gentlemen? It is us, the Talking Normies, here on the podcast. Names, starting with the guy at the other end of the table. Pat. Mickey. Lovey. Chris motherfucking Johnson. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 And we got a nice, fun, chilly wintertime podcast coming for Uh-oh. you. Yeah. And before it's we do our weekend catch up, uh, Pat made me aware of something. This is going to sound silly. But Whoa. he made me keenly aware that people have morning routines. And because I told Pat that this morning I played DMZ and he's like, how the fuck? What time did you wake up? And I was like, 645, like 15 minutes before I usually wake up. Play a little bit of video games, fed the cat, hung out. I uh, sat on the couch. I, I I started waking up 15 minutes early so I could like jump rope and go on little runs, mm-hmm. but I'm fat and unmotivated. So <laughs> when, do you, wait, 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 when do you guys leave the house? Uh, What time do we need to be at work? We need to be at nine. work at nine. Then I leave the house no later than 820. Eight Damn. 20. So an hour and 20 minutes is enough for you to wake up, play Call of Duty, eat breakfast. <laughs> That's what I asked. That, that, exactly. That was like, what's, what's 20 20 minutes? Minutes? what do you do in, like, in my morning? Well, he has a cat. Yeah, but so you don't, uh, need, you don't need to take cat for a walk. Uh, yeah, okay. <laughs> yeah, that's. I mean, I just. <laughs> I guess, but then you, that's like probably only like one one round, one game. Yeah, I, I could have probably played don't, more because then after that, I just kind of. I think I watched like half a YouTube video. Don't, don't you like, catch up on life? Like in the morning, like don't you watch the read the news? We we'll get on YouTube. We we'll check the sports scores. Going what's going on? Any of that sports shit? scores. <laughs> I don't even know what that means. Uh, I mean, you know, it's but like, no, nah, like, I just kind of wake up and I, I get my brain going. I'll, I'll scroll through like Imager a little bit. I'll see what's up on uh, Instagram. Look at Reddit. Just, I mean, touch a little points. I don't try to spend. I, I do a lot of screen time, which is unhealthy, but I'm trying to get away from that. I think I'm going to wake up and start. I mean, doing, that, like, you, you got away from that and then get to play DMZ. That, I think that's screen time too, my man. No, I, I just did DMZ this morning. Next time, jump rope. <laughs> <laughs> How long does it take you to get ready? Because I feel like. Yeah, I yeah hours just late. Did you not shower? I'm flabbergasted. Yes. Yeah, because like, I, I, I also wake up at 7 and I leave at 8 20. And yeah, we're, I'm uh, yeah, no, exactly. Like I'm scrounging for yeah. time. You're gonna get closer <laughs> to that microphone, Navi. There's a lot of air between you and the mic. Oh, Am I like be- not managing my yeah, time you gotta properly? Like, yeah, you gotta what's one, happening. a shower takes at best five minutes. Brushing your teeth Fair. takes what? two fucking minutes. Uh, Do you I not wash your balls? Literally. How long does it take you to wash your balls? Your balls that big, bro? I at least shower for like for like ten minutes. And plus, it feels good to just like let the water okay, come fine, on. Fine, oh, fine, yeah, fine. ten yeah. minutes shower. Yeah, yeah. Like, I'll five, give you five to ten minutes shower. Yeah. I'll add an extra five in there. I'll do ten minutes for the shower. Yeah. And <laughs> I have to brush my teeth, put some shit in my beard, comb through that, put a little. I do a little charcoal. How about rub your on, hair? Charcoal rub on the. I don't have hair. Charcoal <laughs> rub on the face. I then do a little bit of lotion on the face, and then I put a little bit of grease in my hair, little, and then I'm good. Oh, a little, a little skincare routine. Yeah, but that, that's that it. All it. of those I, things. I need to do that. I need to do you that. You can get that done in a twenty minute gap. See, then you must be efficient because I. I'll just be fucking around with you. I don't know, I don't know I what I'm doing. That still that seems I, like, like, I feel like, yeah, don't you like, I don't know. There's so much to do. Yeah, yeah. How do you, don't you go to your closet and figure out what clothes you're going to wear? And I shower every other day, so I don't even shower every day. <laughs> <laughs> Same. Yeah, I shower every other day and I feel like I'm what? scrunching for time. Yeah, I don't shower yeah, every day. You don't need to shower every day. It's not, it's not good day. for your body oils, man. My this ass. Man, this man takes a ass. shower twice a day. Yes, you need to shower twice a day. You're going to be wrinkly twice as an old man. a day? No. Do you wash your hair every time as well? So I, I, I used no to. No wonder I, your hair looks like that. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> All right. Listen. Destroy. Hey, hey, listen. I used to, I used to shower. I used to clean, you know, shampoo my hair every day. But until Navi told me not to do it, so I stopped doing it. And now it looks a little bit better. So Good. fuck you. Good. But, but right. even okay. just wetting your hair, like do you wear even your hair? wetting it? Yes. Yeah. You, you can't like fuck it. Yeah, you gotta. No, like, I don't know. I don't know about all that. You don't, you don't have yeah, to... because it's gonna wash away the oils in your hair. Like yeah. it's it's. You, I put you, oil in my you hair every day. Shower, Isn't so. oils what makes you break out? Because that's re- no. that's the reason why I don't break out, bro. I got good it, skin. It's like no, there's good oils that your body produces that you need for, you know. I'm, you know, Am if I'm being wrong? honest, I thought this was going to be like everyone else no. has a little normal routine. I didn't think this was going to turn into pure chaos. <laughs> That's hilarious. Okay, okay wait, wait, let's, let's get back on track. So, r- routines. Routine. Navi, what do you, you got a lot of hair. I imagine it takes you... I've seen you dry your hair for 24 hours straight. Yeah, I don't wash my hair every day. I wash my hair once a week, and that's like what? after work activity. Dude, it takes a well, whole day sweat? to dry. That's why I have a question. Don't you guys sweat every day? No. My, so you don't, oh, yes, we no, all don't go to the gym no, every no. day. I don't, even if I'm going to gym every day, I don't. I will wash my hair twice a week then. So you're just going to have your sweat all over your hair? Yeah, I will dry it. Your sweat's good for you, bro. Dude, the, no, it's the not. The oils are good for your hair, Your man. sweat's not bad for the you. The sweat makes you sticky. No, no, depends. No, and that rhymes with Mickey. <laughs> no, no. If you're really like sweating to the point like you went to sauna, that's a different thing. But like when you go to a gym, yeah, you can take a body shower, but you don't need to wash your hair every day. Bro, so you guys don't work out, work out. 
You know, we bitch made, I guess. Mickey, what are you doing tomorrow? You guys don't do cardio, and cardio makes you sweat too. I haven't worked out for months, so. So I have two morning routines one where I properly wake up on time and I have time to do things, and then the (laughs) one where I only have time to take care of Chester. (laughs) So so I'll give you the one where I properly wake up, which would be probably the same thing around like seven. Yeah. Maybe. I would love to. Okay. So this is what was so cool about being at Dameron's uh, wedding in Colorado is we were so used to. We had the advantage. The jet lag, dude. So I naturally woke up at five and it was the best day. I went and had a, a, I had nice breakfast. You have a full day before anything happens. Exactly. I took a long walk. Like I explored the city. I came back and it was like 830 and I was like, fuck yeah. Like it was amazing. (laughs) And I want to be able to do that, but I, I can't do it. But anyways, I wake up at seven, get up out of bed, brush my teeth. You know, if it's a shower day, I take a shower, style my hair, come downstairs. I let Chester out into the backyard, hoping he'll poop, but he never does. He only pees back there. He refuses to poop in the backyard, which is kind of nice. I never have to clean anything up, but then I he I always have to take him on a walk. And he's, we're going to get that in a second. But anyways, while, <laughs> while he's peeing, if I have time to make breakfast, you know, I, I heat up the stove. And I like to cook eggs and, and toast in the morning. Yeah, same. Oh. Make, a, make a cup of tea. Um, I get Chester's food ready. He comes in. He eats. Then we go for a walk. And this motherfucker is so picky. Like, every dog I've ever known has a spot. You know, like, they go outside. They do their business very quickly. Come back in. There's no fuss. This fool doesn't have a spot. He needs to poop in a different spot every single day. <laughs> so I have about eight to ten spots that I cycle between on a daily basis to keep it fresh for him. Oh my god. And minimum I'm walking him for thirty minutes before he poops. Well, so that's, that, like if that's your cardio, that's a good thing though. Oh yeah, I mean like yeah. it's yeah, it's beneficial for me too, but like I you know, I'd like to play a game of DMZ in the morning. So Why do you like, wanna play the, 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 <laughs> The like, game of DMZ in the morning, that's, that just makes you want to feel lazy, don't you? Like, when you get met in the morning, don't you feel like, all right, let's go do something, you know? I mean, shit, I am, though. Like, I feel like playing something in the morning, like, so, you're actively getting your brain, like, moving. I'm getting a little dexterity up. I'm like, all right, baby. If, 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 I, if I could wake up earlier, like, at 5, I'd probably add working out in there. That would be nice. Because, like, yeah. working out, I think for me, I need to get it over with. So, like, mm-hmm. I'm a morning worker at her. I gotta just, I gotta get it over with and then just be cool for the rest of the day. But anyways, we come back from the walk. Uh, I eat my food because I'll cook it and then let it cool while I'm walking. And then I'll come back, eat real quick, and then just jet off for work. That's yeah. crazy. I'm waking up at 7, and I still don't have time to make breakfast. I have an yeah. advantage of waking up at 7 to make breakfast. I have a partner. I know. That I <laughs> Marquette's will just be like, I'm going to do the toast. of like, cool, I'll get the coffee started. And then for a little bit in the summer, I'd be like, I'll take the cat out. Like For this like last couple of warm mm-hmm. days, I just take Bodie out back, but he only wants to be out back for like 10 minutes at best. So. Yeah. I, I, this is why I would start making frozen breakfast that I will like, put in the air fryer while I walk Nico and it's done. But it's been cold, so I haven't been walking Nico. Mm. So my, my, mine is different now with a bum-ass knee. I'm more of a bum. <laughs> All right, well, g- g- give us like, give us your pre bum. Give us also your... talking to the proper point of the. I mic. am. T- well, I gotta look I, at I you guys. Look, 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 every look, single, look, check every me out, Pat. single All you gotta podcast. Do is, I gotta tell you, right, talking you to your this. microphone. You gotta do this. Look, 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 look. But like, how am I supposed to look at you guys? I'm, I'm showing you. Look, you just this. Right here. That's what I'm doing. No, you're doing this. You keep your mouth right here in the front this is not what i'm doing no, pat you're all the way over here like this if anyone's listening on the internet this is what pat sounds like and all we want him to just i want you to move it right here see? this is isn't this it? see that's good but pat you'll be over here pat Wait, you'll check, be like check your dot because you sounded okay that was weird pat, i know where my fine. dot's at you don't baby. need to look at us just talking to microphone you can, you can. just just I, lean just anyways lean. it's like a gimbal like what well, my, my neck's not a gimbal <laughs> Uh, anyways, um, so my pre-injury uh, routine was I would wake up, um, go downstairs, let cash out, give her for food. I'll go do my cardio and then come back home, shower. And then either if I have time, I would just like watch some YouTube videos um, I do that, yeah. and then or um, make breakfast. But lately I've been just having time for YouTube. Like, it, like I've been wanting to make the only breakfast now I could have is like a protein shake, but I used to make like a bomb ass omelet and toast, you know, that was my damn bag too. But I just don't have time for that shit no more. Mm-hmm. Elon Musk says the trick to making a billion dollars is masturbating in the morning before work. Makes sense. Makes total sense. Pat, can I ask you, mm-hmm. you live so close to a studio. How come you don't have time to make breakfast? Because now I don't know. Now, now I wake up late. Now, now I just wake up late. Now I just wake up when I need to just come to the office. But just, I don't oh, give a fuck to do shit anymore. Fair enough. Uh, fair <laughs> enough. Well, I didn't think this was going to be the uh, tour de force that it was. <laughs> I just, all right, so we can catch up. Um, 
Uh, weekend catch up. This weekend was my birthday. Oh, I am yeah. 34. Uh, we had people over on Saturday. Mm -hmm. uh, we went to hookah pretty early, like around two o'clock. It was very nice. We smoked a bunch of hookah. We had a couple of drinks. Um, I was in a bad mood because uh, my face had still been hurting because I still have an ongoing respiratory infection. Wow. And I only had five days of amoxicillin to take. And I was at the end of that. I needed more. I didn't know that then. But my whole face was hurting. But I was like, whatever. Party through. Um, people came over to the house. We hung out. And then we left the house. And then after we left the house, I don't remember what happened. <laughs> Everybody brought bottles Chaos. of alcohol to the house. I have too much alcohol at the house. Uh -huh. I don't remember what happened. I have the ring video of me leaving the house and coming to the house. And I seem fine. <laughs> I don't recall we, we really thought, either of those we transactions. We thought you were fine. You told us to meet one place. When we got there, you were like, why is everybody here? It's like, well, you told us to meet here. So here we are. And we had to take over because so, he was too drunk. That's good. Um, didn't pee in the laundry because we moved the laundry now to a place that's unpeeable in. Genius. Um, and then the next day after that, I was having a really bad hangover. My face was still hurting. So I wasn't in the best of moods. My anxiety was acting up. But I went to go do a sauna in the morning with some friends. We had a little bit of Prosecco. Uh, this was on my actual birthday on sweat Sunday. Sweat out them toxins. And it felt fucking amazing. And it was good. And after that, I just kind of chilled. And then we went to go see Black Panther again did with it, my uh, family. Did it work? Did, did you sweat out the toxins? Uh, no, but I mean, it's because it's like a slow down and be chill wellness thing. Like, it just feels better anyway. I don't know the actual science if I'm sweating out toxins. But I do know... That if I'm drinking a shit ton of water, like I am feeling better. Mm -hmm. But it could all be in my head. Who knows? Maybe you need to get hung over and then come to the sauna to find out. Yes. Mm -hmm. Test it out. Test it out. Uh, but yeah, that was my weekend. So I know that it sounds very fun. But unfortunately, I my plan was to be very healthy. My little sister came out and shit. I was like, we're going to go. We're going to get drinks. I'm going to have all my like um, hydration shit. And I'm not going to get too drunk. And everybody being over at the new house was a little too overwhelming for me and kind of mm -hmm. super fun. And there was just shots and drinks. And then someone came up with a stupid drinking game where you step on the scale. And if you guess the number one, you got a drink. I wonder who came up with that. Who came up with that? He, was, he was an idiot. We don't remember him. Mm -hmm. Fuck him. Mm -hmm. And so, <laughs> so I, I did too much. But yeah. what did you guys do over the weekend? Um, or what do you remember Saturday being like? Because I don't. That, well, I planned to go out after hanging out at your house. But then I went back home to take care of Chester. And then I... Game over. Then I passed out. Yeah. Oh, we've also all decided that going home to take care of my dog is just slang for I'm leaving. Yeah. Oh, it's a it's that is one of the best parts of having a dog. <laughs> no one I believes can, you. I can fucking leave whenever. <laughs> just leave. We all know it. When everybody's like, ah, I'm gonna go take care of the dog, and I'll hit you guys up. It's like, and then he was but never so, seen or heard from but, again. But like sometimes I'm telling the truth though. Like I do want to come back out. I would I, say I, I have to go take care of the dog. Ninety nine no. percent of the time, you do not come back out. Mickey, Pat, <laughs> and Sir, sure. three of them left to take care of the dogs and we never heard from them never again. heard from them again. when was this like, that saturday night i said i wasn't gonna come back i did say no, that you didn't he was like you... i'm gonna go take care of cash cash and i said i was gonna come away, back and we all just looking at each other like hey, also, did back. you expect me to come back all the way from the, no the north side exactly we that's didn't. why i said i wasn't gonna come back that's not what you said i I, I'm pretty sure I did. You guys were too drunk. I, I, I sincerely did want to come back. I was just like, <laughs> I texted Obed. I was like, let me know when you guys head out. And then I was like, I'll just rest my eyes on the Game. couch. <laughs> I will say that I also left a, uh, never got me a bottle of wood for reserve for my birthday, which was great. We were out in the fire pit and I set it in the snow to cool it down. Oh, yeah. And I didn't get that bitch out of the backyard until fucking Monday when I was like, who put that bottle back there? I was like, oh, my Wait, God. What happened to the bottle? Was it frozen? No, it's... It's liquor. It's like, be fine. Oh, man. Freeze. It's probably, it's probably yeah. like nice and oh, cold. And it was fucking great, baby. It probably tasted better because <laughs> yeah. the grass juices are... <laughs> grass <laughs> juices. The glass. All right, so, yeah. What did you What did you guys do on the weekend? Uh, um, my Saturday was essentially doing shenanigans with you, but I thought your shenanigans were going to start early in the morning, so I was all prepped for it. I prepped on Friday, and then realized it was only 2 p.m., so I had a day, so I went shopping. It was snowed. Not expecting that. And Sunday, I don't know, just did a bunch of errands. It was a productive weekend. I wanted longer. Always. Always. Always want longer. Yeah. It was nice. It was nice hanging out at home when it was snowing and hanging out with Nico. It was nice. The snow was a very nice uh, addition to Saturday. I swear yeah. to God, you guys love snow way too much. I swear. I, I don't want to get this. It's beautiful. It's it so is pretty. not but beautiful. It was, it's dirty. It's, dirt, it's black or it's brown sometimes. Dude, if you if it's old snow, yeah, it's black. But when it's the first snow, the Saturday yeah. was the first snow. You woke up to fluffier snow falling and it's beautiful until your dirty ass shoes step <laughs> on it. That's when it gets dirty. But it was beautiful. We yeah, had like a bonfire. It's, it's nice. Yeah, you had a bonfire going, and it finally feels good when the bonfires and it's actually cold outside. It was nice. Pat, what 
world are you living what's in? what's your favorite season then yeah perfect season 70 degree weather that's all i need no 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 rain just give me no not too much sun so just what is, so what san diego that? baby is just give me san diego i just want san diego spring <laughs> uh spring the beginning of the no of no no it's not spring because spring is allergy season fuck spring all right you know so what? beginning of summer no and... no 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 because summer is that's warming hot. fall so like, fall 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 like right right after like the september's a sweet spot september i i used to not fuck with fall but it's, it's kind of it's slowly creeping up for me as so i'm like you know september you don't you, you you just need like like you know just shorts and a shirt and you're good it's just not, beautiful i'm here to fuck with all seasons yeah wait well, all the seasons well, you like the sweaty summers yeah okay what was the question that was just weekend, weekend. <laughs> all right what did you do <laughs> uh, well saturday you know i uh the hookah bar was cool because they moved into the yeah. new location the food didn't quite taste the same i ordered the hummus and i was like this isn't the same but it's still <laughs> pretty good um then we went back. whatever I'll, I'll talk about sunday didn't really do anything um i started uh white lotus season two Ooh. i saw oh dude so when the intro came on i was like okay they had to change the song but yeah. like it's not as good and then they hit it with the redux. With the little, <laughs> oh man the little spoggly auto beat <laughs> uh they hit it with the redux and i was like okay that's pretty did you sweet. also notice all the ridiculous uh imagery in the yeah uh, yeah. yeah 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 it was it was it, honestly just it was as good it's an, another slice of life of very very out there characters and I've, i'm only one episode in but it's uh, uh is it done uh, no it's not uh, well, episode it's weekly four uh, i think Sorry. it's really four good Sunday. I, I, I don't know it might be worth like it's hard to tell what it's about i never know what it's about and I, I just watch it i just think it's like slice of life but in like a weird sense of that because because uh, like for the first season didn't really have a conclusion it was just like things happened it did people. have a conclusion though oh, but, a conclusion. But, but but the conclusion. all the bad things that happened to all the native people yeah well yeah okay well but, i mean that's one of the storylines i'm saying like if you look at it like the guy got away there, there were so many groups of characters like nothing like with the um oh man uh alexander daddario mm-hmm. like she kind of just ends up in the same place she started like she goes through this whole journey but it's like the but pa- you don't see it as a group of super rich people essentially being elitist assholes the entire yeah, time yeah, yeah, for shitting sure. on a staff and then even her who has the chance to go back or forward being like oh i'm gonna choose this life or i'm gonna make myself a trophy wife in order to have it like for sure and and that's what was interesting about it is like it, i don't know there wasn't it's just like i don't know it's just like things happening but it's so well written because like all the characters are so like ridiculous real uh mm-hmm. sydney sweeney's character was so good because right. it's she's like this rebel wannabe activist but she's not you know like anyway season two just as good the care you know immediately i'm like okay these are really cool characters um and i, I like that they kept um What's her name? Jennifer Jennifer Coolidge. 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 Oh, they I, kept Tanya. Jennifer Coolidge in it? Yeah, I like well. She's great. So I think She's the most ridiculous. I think she's a great <laughs> anchor point to explore further seasons because the shtick is she's just visiting other white lotus white lotus mm. resorts. So she's just at a different white lotus resort. And I think like she she's not the central figure of the show, but it's nice to have an anchor to kind of bridge one and two. Anyways, uh, other than that, I listened to the book that I'm doing for book club because I'm severely behind, and I'm uh, yeah, I just kind of cozied up with the book, you know, cozied up on the on the couch with my dog in a book. So did you actually read or did you listen? A little bit of both. Oh, a little so bit of both. Okay. I like to like physically read because I feel like I retain more, and but like I'm in a hurry, so I got to pop on the audio book and <laughs> crank it up to 1.2 speed. Jeez. Makes sense. Jeez. Makes sense. <laughs> <clears throat> what about you, Pat? Uh, Saturday, I was with you guys, and then uh, I did a little. Uh, wa- I'm watching this a cool show right now called Manifest. Check it out, guys. Um, I, I season season. Uh, these guys say it's network TV type of you know ABC type shit, it, but like I mean, it literally it is on ABC. I don't know if it started on ABC. We it don't know. Def- it one hundred percent. I think that's fake news because when <laughs> when I saw Netflix says Netflix, I saw the Netflix logo. Okay, you know Netflix buys properties and then just says made by Netflix. <laughs> That's like Netflix getting Hannibal. It's done on Amazon Prime. Lucifer. Creek. We watched like, Lucifer. Yeah, but the Netflix bought New Flo- Lucifer, right? And then they said made by Netflix. Okay, so but I was just saying now if the Netflix shows and then maybe wow. it's good. But it started as a network show. Okay. That's it started as but even <laughs> okay, as anyways, a network it's show. It's, it's tell, fine. tell us go about it. It's a good show. It's a great show. Um it started really good. I will agree with you guys. It, it is it is starting now again a little bit see a little bit more networky, a little bit, but it's still I think it's been one of the better better network shows out there because like it's like lost and infinity war it's it's great nice 
Okay. Infinity War. Like yeah, Marvel? a bunch of people disappearing and coming back. I believe. Give, give us a because I'm never gonna watch this. Show. You're never gonna watch this. So give g- give me give me like so th- okay, give me the it. juiciest thing that's oh, happened that you, that, that that you think will r- change my mind and re- so here's the juiciest me thing. Here it is. All right. So these people. They get callings, so they could hear things, see things. Yeah, and the people you're talking about are the, the people. passengers. So, the show is these people get on a flight, uh-huh. and then they disappear for five years, mm-hmm. but then the plane lands again, mm-hmm. and for them, it's just been a normal amount of time. Yeah, normal flight for them, but, but they're like, the, you guys have been gone for but, years. But for the outside world, so it's five, five years. Now so, think of the, 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 so think about it. how people. cool is that? Now they have to adjust to it's that. People right. don't want. To, yeah, <laughs> this is what we wanted from Infinity Wars, from Marvel. We explored that, right? We wanted them to be on a flight. <laughs> no, we wanted them to deal with the blip. <laughs> yeah, to deal with the blip. So now we see the, the the so one of the girls, bro. She she was supposed to come back, married this guy, but she married her. The guy made her her best friend. Now dealing that entanglement. That's kind of cool mm-hmm. shit. Come on, like you don't like uh, uh, baby mama drama. Uh, or or the okay. Well, how about the girl, her husband and the daughter, like whatever. Leave now. She goes and finds to somebody else, and now she's just coming back to the husband, and I he just had to hide the husband. Yeah. Yeah. Like you know. The, <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry if anybody is interested in manifest. Sorry, spoiler warning. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, those but, parts do sound interesting because yeah, it is kind of dealing with the stuff like yeah. after the blip that we would have been interested in that but, we get a little uh, bit of in some of the shows. Go back to the uh, the, the calling. So, so, so these so passengers, the, okay, these passengers have these callings where they either get like see things or hear things, um, or now feel things. That's kind of cool. Um, that predict the future or how whatever, and they they solve problems. So like one of the things is. Uh, for example, this girl was her parents were in let's say and I think they were in Costa Rica and this girl her parents didn't know how to deal with her callings right so they just put her in the downstairs basement and they just locked her up because <laughs> they, they were they were a huge Christian family and they they just thought she was the going crazy so they said, like you the, the devil, devil go to yep, the basement that that was they just they just locked her up and they like they didn't just that's how they dealt with her so you know what's called, funny if someone thought you were going crazy so they locked you in the basement you're gonna go crazy <laughs> yeah <laughs> yeah so they, they didn't want to try and talk to her and make her understand anything like that so these the, that, that calling forces that had a call that showed them a vision of her so forces these other passengers like hey this is happening so they came and got her out so they rescued her and now she's part of the team helping other people with dealing with calling mm. it's cool um okay and now, but the other thing i don't like about it now is they're now they're going to the whole religion route they're, they're bringing christianity into it and i'm like i uh, i mean they it sounds like to... they already did with the girl in the basement yeah yeah well no that was just mm-hmm. the one thing but like mm-hmm. now that's they're saying like these passengers are like resurrected and they're like came back to save the world and like mm-hmm. I was hoping like these people were like maybe like higher like aliens or other things we're going to explore or, like they could have got cooler stuff with it but they maybe went like, very baseline maybe like military experimentation or something yeah, but they were going that route and they're still going that route and then it could have been down that way but like now it's just like if they come back it's like it's going towards where I feel like it's going back like they come back resurrected and bring Christianity into it I'm like this was kind of stupid because they could have done like they could have done like space with it like you know they could have been like yeah. oh, they could, they could so be talking to alien like some alien being or something happened because like this, like it could have been cool because they got like they, they, they this, a guy could legitimately feel what you're feeling right now so like well, that is say it almost I will so say so like no the like the leftovers rapture so they're just kind of going the religious route that they can yeah. from a rapture I haven't seen, ooh I should Mm, yeah, I want to watch that show. Uh, okay, I I won't lie, I'm I'm intrigued. See, but, see, but not enough to want to watch it. Can I? <laughs> I I'll, so, I'll watch like a like a clip notes or something. I, I I'll watch a reaction. I'm leading this podcast, and I want to say something. <laughs> uh, the next two things that I had to talk about kind of seem moot because I really want to talk about weird network TV shows for just a little bit. Okay, sure. yeah, let's, I mean, we sweet, because there's this one called Revolution. Oh. That I don't remember if you guys remember this show. It was like um. It was a J.J. Abrams show, and the whole premise, because I remember I watched all of it, and I hated it. I hate watched all of it. How, how long did you, how long was it? I think it might have been like six seasons or something oh, like that. And you watched all of it, and all then you hated it? it? Okay. I, all of I it. mean, that, yeah, that was me with Sons of Anarchy. I did, yeah. not, oh I did not like that show, and I just had to see how it ended. None of it? I, there were, I mean... It went crazy. When they I, went to Belfast, it's like, okay, calm down, everybody. <laughs> I did like the show, but I hated the characters. Like, why mm. do we feel sympathetic oh, here, for Opie? He's a enough. shit father. Uh, <laughs> so <laughs> They're all bad people. <laughs> Revolution dropped in 2012, and here is the premise from what I can remember, and I'm also going to spoil a bunch of it. But okay. the whole point of the show is that electricity stopped working. Okay. As a concept. And for me, 
I was like, well, okay, so you're saying lightning doesn't work? Like, what the fuck is this shit? And they're like, yes. Also, we're electricity. That's exactly what we're saying is lightning doesn't work. Electricity <laughs> on the board is down, all right? Except us. Yeah. And so it kind of <laughs> was like 100S where it's like this like young kind of hot girl and America's all new now and people use swords and shit and fucking uh, Jean Carlos Esposito is the main bad guy, but that, he's got a, a really good. handsome son. Cool. And all that's like I was kind of here for it and then it got tropey and silly and it kept going and people kept getting kidnapped and unkidnapped and yes. we gotta go find our uncle who is like Sounds the old like the dude 100. who used to it was literally kind of like the 100 so <laughs> I'm just watching this shit until it finally got to and, and you would think that like I was like okay so I'm gonna suspend my disbelief electricity doesn't work sure we don't know why right finally we get the reason why and then it kind of pissed me off what? and the reason why is because they invented nanobots that are eating all of the electricity in the air all the time, everywhere. There's just nanobots constantly everywhere. You can't see them. They're microscopic and they're eating the electricity. And the nanobots become sentient and appear to this dude as his wife, who is dead. And he's the, the fucking nanobots are like, we can look like whatever because we control electricity. And then they also start breathing fire and setting people on fire. Uh, they launch a couple of missiles. Michael no, I don't know what the fuck Frey? it's based on. Uh, and then eventually, uh, that's it. They uh, they turn the nanobots back off and they fix electricity. So for six seasons, they didn't know there was nanobots. Well, no, about three seasons in, okay. they know it's nanobots and there's nanobot shenanigans for like the last three. three and I was just like, why did I watch this? <laughs> Me and Mark had to watch like half of Jericho. And we're just like, why are we watching <laughs> this? Like, there's some TV. Network TV that has a way of capturing me that I'm like, I hate this. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to watch the next episode, though. And it's like junk food. You want to figure out what's next. Like, you want to see where it goes. Because, like, Manifest, read about I'm it. not finished with Manifest. I'm like third season into, like, very beginning third season. Like, I think mid third season. And that's where I feel like the, it's going to try with the religion route. And, like, I'm just turning, like, I really don't care for it. But I'm still wanting to watch because I want to see how it turns out. I feel like we just get so enthralled into the story. We just wanted to at least finish it out. No matter yeah. What. There's yeah. also a bunch of uh, characters in it that uh, look like lost characters. Like, it's really hard to tell. I, I hope somebody here has watched it so they don't Do think you I'm guys crazy. remember this show from way back in the day? I'm talking late 90s, possibly early 2000s. I don't quite remember. But it was a show about a guy who always gets tomorrow's newspaper today, so he's able to predict the future. <laughs> Hold on, what the what? fuck was it called? Are, are you, nobody knows about no. the show? Is that Kyle X Y? I do no. I think it was literally called like the Daily Newspaper or something like that. <laughs> I mean, it was something. That sounds dumb. cool, dude. No, it was a really. I think it was a big deal back then. It was like a really big show back then because my. Um, I think my dad used to watch it, and I. I, I don't remember anything about it. I was so little when it was on, but the whole concept was this guy always gets tomorrow's newspaper delivered. The day before, and so he's able to predict the future. That's kind of cool. How, how is he getting the? Who's I, writing this? I don't. I mean, I'm sure they oh. went into that in the later season. Damn, that's dude, that's just like uh, it's like a memory unlock thing right there. Damn, I I'm, fucked, I'm, it wasn't. To, I'm gonna have to look that up. It wasn't six seasons. There was only two seasons, <laughs> but it was 42 <laughs> episodes in those two seasons. Damn. <laughs> <laughs> so my brain just divided the show by seven and assumed it was. <laughs> That's hilarious. So uh, I'm assuming the first, the first, I'm assuming happen. the first 42 was about before pre nanobots, and then the last half was about nanobots. I that's so much. Oh my god, that's just insane. You <laughs> watched 84 episodes. No, no, no. There's only 42. there's only 42 episodes. That happens to me with like old cartoon shows like SpongeBob. Like when you were watching it back in the day, it was like a new episode every day for like years, and you're like, oh man, that must be a really long running show. And then you go back, and it's like 42 episodes. Like, what? <laughs> That was a, that was it. That's all I was watching. What, the, it doesn't hilarious. feel real. Yeah, I don't have any real like Jesus. show, but I think the my, main ones are usually reality TV. Like I will watch it and then like this is stupid, but now I need to know what happened with these people. At least those are like real together. people just kind of acting a fool, you know. But sometimes they act so full. It's like what? Like I was watching this show called Married at First Sight. Yeah. The whole concept is you don't see each other until you're at the altar, and obviously there's a like, cameras around, and there was this one guy who got married and was so pissed that there were camera crew everywhere. <laughs> that was his whole thing. He was just annoyed that he was even getting filmed all the time. I was like, but you signed up for this. <laughs> yeah. Isn't that your whole, like, did somebody sign you the up for it? The like, whole thing. Till the end, he get, kept getting fight with the producers, he kept getting fight with the cameraman, like, everybody who, like, get away, like, wouldn't be, I was like, 
what is what is wrong with it's you? So like you signed up to do a photo shoot and was like, why are there cameras here? <laughs> why are there cameras here? So you're gonna draw me? It's like, no, nah, yeah, I think I was you like, misunderstood. I d- <laughs> didn't realize I have to do. And the other guy, there was like, you sp- you get married and you're supposed to live together. And they, uh, this one guy was like, oh no, I think we should take it slow. I was like, you guys got married. Mm-hmm. Like that was the whole concept. You're not dating. Like you have to How do you this take a experiment. <laughs> yeah, I. Those are the kind of shows that I will watch. I was like, now I need to st- stick still and see what happens. <laughs> Do they stay together? Obviously not. But I need to know the drama. Need to know the. I need to know the drama. Well, before we move on, uh, I have a quick question. Did you guys ever watch uh, Joe Schmo? Joe Schmo with the with the. Uh, oh my God, Spade. No, 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 no. So this was an oh, older. That's Joe, that's Joe Dirt. This was an older uh, reality TV show where everyone was an actor except for one dude. The one dude was a normal dude. And he was in a reality TV show thing, and everyone else was actors. <laughs> and I feel like, like Truman Show. Yeah, like he was like he was doing all the reality stuff, and no one else. And he makes it to the end, and he wins. And then when they do the reunion, one person's like, "I have a confession. I was a paid for actor." And then everyone stands up and was like, "I was a paid for actor." I think about that dude like yearly because I'm like, does he trust what? anything? Did y'all just ruin this man's perception of reality? Bro. Is he sick now? Because that would make me fucking sick. So it's a reality TV show, but only one person is the actual yes. reality. Yes. J- Japan did one worse. Uh, what? There, there was a uh, another reality show. Uh, Moist Critical made a. Is it the coupon one? Yes. yes. What? Go for what? it, please okay, go. Yeah. So, so basically, they take this guy. This guy volunteered for the show, okay. right? It wasn't like a, but like they really fucked with him. But anyways, the whole thing was he has to stay in this room, and like coupons and raffles are really big in Japan, or mm-hmm. at least they were at the time of this show. So you could win things, like you know, like the mail-in things, like yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. So, so mail-in sweepstakes, mail-in sweepstakes. That that's what it was. So the whole goal was he can't leave until he has earned a certain amount of money uh, through these sweepstakes, and it and it could it doesn't have to be just money. It can be like the value of an object. Okay. So and whatever he wins through the sweepstakes, he can use to survive. And this was the biggest show in japan and it's still like one of the most like it beat game of thrones numbers like people every <laughs> oh, wow everybody was watching it so the whole time this guy is part of the show he thinks that it is being recorded mm-hmm. and will be edited and viewed by people later yeah. what, what he didn't know is that people were watching him in real time <gasps> They were so, watching him live. So it was like the so it was like the Truman show and every and and they didn't give him and again he can only survive on things he wins. Jesus. So he won like a bag of rice, but he didn't have a way to cook it. So he would like eat like it was torture. It was like literally torture at at, at some point. And when he would get close to uh meeting his mark for the for the victory, they would like extend the pull because like the oh show God. was doing so well. And they oh really, you gotta watch, it's... They fat. just made The Truman Show. It's, it's <laughs> like you saw the movie The Truman Show and was like, oh, the point of this movie was a rubric on how to make it. It's not. The it point is, is don't uh, make it. It is fascinating. Okay. It is fascinating. But yeah, that's that's another, I don't yeah, know. Wait, so how is that he ever like, legally okay? Like, I different mean, laws there and he signed it. Th- this is like back in the 90s. Oh, you know, like God. this is like... That yeah. sounds like torture. And again, he volunteered for it, but like they they didn't tell him the whole truth because like people were watching him live. Like it was like 17 million people tuning in. Like it was like crazy numbers. Oh my god, <sighs> that's uh, insane. Yeah, but yeah, it's a very fascinating video. Yeah. Um, can we talk about masterclass at some point? Sure. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. We got we got uh there there are two actual topics to talk about at the end, okay. and one I want to stop by on the way there. But yeah, masterclass. Quick. You know, just a quick little segue. All right. I, I saw a master class. Uh, I was watching a YouTube video this morning and I saw a master class ad. And I thought it was something new, but it's not. This was like a year ago. But hey, let me ask you guys. Do you guys feel like you could use some leadership skills in your life? Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, sure. Sure, sure. Yeah. You know, just learn some solid leadership. Like, who, who do you think would be the best person to learn leadership skills from? <laughs> I don't know. Some president? Like yeah, Obama? Donald Trump. Oh, well, you're, you're close. You're, well, I mean, not Donald Trump, but president is close. Um, is B- it Obama? Bill, Bill Clinton. Oh. Uh, <laughs> Why not? Bill Clinton's a good know. leader. It's, it's I Bill. Don't know. Bill Clinton. Listen, it's, during it's, his time, we, the economy was booming. The look, country's look, more look, than no, the no, economy. I don't, I don't want to take the conversation down that road. It's more just like, what the fuck is a master class doing? <laughs> like, <laughs> because here's the thing. Master class used to be like, 
learn how to cook from a professional chef, yeah. learn how to mix audio from a professional audio person. And now it's just like abstract things. Like yeah. learn <laughs> leadership from Bill Clinton. From <laughs> like, the former president. Hillary Clinton has a master class too and she teaches how to set up email servers. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, no, she does have a master class and she teaches the power of resiliency. What? I don't want to hear about that from track. her. <laughs> why, yeah, why would that be a master class? Because master class is actually a skill that you were learning, like how to do coding it's, or like. It's a joke now. It's, yeah. it's really just a That's joke. Sad. I mean, we're talking about I, it. Maybe uh, they got their little meme ones, but they still got the real ones. And to be honest, it might have always been a joke. I have something to confess. I sincerely signed up for a master class at one point and Which before one? and is before, anyone surprised hey no it's you guys are going to be thrown for a loop here once you find out <laughs> who, who was it who, okay look before i admit to this i need the internet to know this was before the allegations i didn't know <laughs> oh my god oh my god <laughs> who was it i didn't know anything about this at the time this person was one of my favorite actors top 10 Oh fuck! Oh fuck! Spacey. I, I signed up for Kevin Spacey's. Oh. <laughs> what was he teaching? Acting. Acting. Oh. Acting. Dude, how the, not to hit on a seventeen-year-old so boy? Good. The marketing was so good. They got me. Okay, I'm a level seven susceptible, and they were like, "Look, you're going to be part of a small uh, group of students that's going to be taught by." I'm like, "I get to be taught by Kevin Spacey for ninety-nine dollars? I can't miss out on this deal." <laughs> like, I, look, man. It, throughout my that life, makes sense. throughout Did you learn, my. Though? No, it okay. was it was <laughs> shitty. It was there, there's nothing to it. Throughout my life, I have been gotten over and over again. I was in the MLM once. I'm scared. Like, I could be talked into a cult. Do you understand? Like, Mickey, you're in a cult right now. This is the cult, Mickey. Are you? We started one. We, you started one. You started the I'm cult. A, I'm afraid for my susceptibility. It's, look. I think you're at a point where you have mastered it. You have started a cult and you recruited people instead of being in. Welcome, Acolytes. Anyways. Uh, oh, my God. But we are signing up. Oh. For, for, we're signing up for Ninja's master class soon to do better on Twitch. For, hey, I'm, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm going to dye my fucking hair. <laughs> Um, yeah, we should. We should all dye our hair. I think we should all do something I, crazy. I think we should experiment with like Drew Gooden style videos where it's like we did it so you don't have to. Yeah, we, we should try. We well, should Pat wants to go skydiving so we don't I'll have be, to. Yeah, but no one wants to actually do that. Why not for the views? Pat, you can do it yourself for the views. You know, what'd be funny. You're gonna go skydiving. The bitch is gonna get ten thousand views, and we're gonna be like, oh, we could have just made a skit. <laughs> yes. But, uh, all right, yeah, all right yeah, listen. That's, that's my master class. Warzone's Sadly. coming out. And boys, while I do want to just talk about how excited we are for it, we don't need to dwell here a lot. I want to talk about some of our good wins. What we need to do is chastise Navi. What? What huh? do you mean? What, Navi, what do you, mean you are a smart and capable person who has dexterity. Okay. You so. She was Why? doing keyboard and mouse. I heard she was doing keyboard and mouse and she was yeah, doing better. But then good. she was like, she played super hot and didn't like that. And I don't understand totally why that. you're bad at so shooting for it. I don't totally hate different. it. Once you tell me it's a puzzle, that's a different thing. I don't think you can compare those two. I just want to roast you so that you get good at keyboard and mouse so oh, that you I, can be I, a gamer girl and we oh. can make a billion dollars. Sure. Yeah. I yeah. did enjoy playing it with PC because the controllers make no sense. Is I don't it because what? Actually, a controller makes a lot of sense, but you just... You know, I, I don't get it. I like the, By the time I'm aiming, I'm still like looking where I'm... Do you I, know I what PC stands for? Pretty cool. Look, and that's why you did pretty a, cool at the person. game. Okay. As a PC gamer, I want to say this. The controller is absolutely far more intuitive. Yes. It's way 100%. more like, like you know, crouching, melee. Mm -hmm. Like, it's just, it's all right here. It's all right here. PC is like this. But, mm. but keyboard and mouse is a much better representation of your actual reflexes. So uh -huh. there's a give and take. Controller, mm -hmm. more intuitive. Keyboard, harder to play with, but far more representative what of, do you of, mean by reflexes my reflexes on this hand ain't that good my look man. man like on a controller your movement is your thumbs and and like this, my thumbs are strong i can do that you're doing this never gonna be better than my look, whole look, hand whipping a mouse you're, you're doing this on uh like to turn this way you gotta use a joystick on a mouse it's just like it's just it's just quicker it's just it's less so can, i've done can, reflex can things with a mouse we, can we get rid of this hand and just stick with this hand no then? no that why I, I, because I don't like doing for this. the same reason you can't get rid of both joysticks you need both okay, joysticks right, okay, to move. what what is this 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 hand is only for moving right or this hand's for moving that's for forward back left right Right, this is for turning. It's just like the joysticks. So let's 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 
Put this. No. Let's get two masses. No. <laughs> Go say, ahead, Pat. Try it. You already say, bought half a keyboard gimmick ass thing. Just because you thought I it was want to see you play with two mouses. <laughs> yeah, do it. Mice. <laughs> All I you should have seen like, the contraption is... he wanted. To, it was I don't even. Yes, it, it was, was something out of like the like Minority Report. Oh my like, god! Oh my god! <laughs> Navi, can yeah. we get you to play Call of Duty sure. with us? Yes, I will play with you guys today. We are doing live stream. I did enjoy playing with PC. I will be honest. Like it, it was way better than playing on controller with Last of Us. I can do loot. I can do everything. But when it comes to shooting, I just can't aim. Can't aim. So you gotta PC get, is the better. You have to. How's your hand dirty with moving around when you're left hand? It's perfect. Like, I can you know, do with it. your left hand. Can you go up, left, right, yes. jump? I killed you, so it was fine. You got one kill and you now you think of Batty, huh? <laughs> <laughs> I, I didn't kill anybody else, but it doesn't matter. It worked. Yeah. So you guys excited for this new Warzone, though? Because I know we had a uh, 2020. So we what's had new? A, what do you mean by uh, new? They're just changing the maps, the guns. There's going to be uh, some like small tweaks in here and there. Talk it's about DMZ. It's a, uh, I, I will, I will. So like when a new Call of Duty drops, here's the thing. It's like, uh, imagine if you bought a new luxury car mm -hmm. every time a new luxury car came out, mm -hmm. they are all still a car and the very small minute differences is what makes it different. Mm -hmm. Also, you only really need one luxury car, but because all your friends have the new luxury car and you want to drive with your friends, you got to go get that new luxury car so you of can course. drive with your friends. It's like, uh, it's like if the previous model came with a butt warmer, the new model comes with a butt warmer and a thigh warmer. You know? Yeah. <laughs> it's just like and a then marginal, but a heated steering marginal wheel. differences. Yeah. So, um, wheel. I'm excited just because I remember we had uh, that one charity stream we had, which was probably one of my favorite Call of Duty moments mm -hmm. in my whole entire life. Mine too. That was great. Uh, we got that dub and then we left and got another dub right after it. Um, and we did it for charity and we put a lot of money on the line and that was fun. That was super fun. I'm excited to do more stuff like that, but also just kind of get used to the new game. Wait, and you guys played for charity? Yeah. You last were night? there. Not 20, last night. 20. Oh, yeah. The back to back. Oh, yes. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. That's like. Will we ever be that good ever well, again? I don't know. We're never going to live that down. Um, it was incredible. But DMZ is fun. It's kind of got like Tarkov vibes where you go in and you got things to do and you're fighting AI and there's some other players that you come across occasionally. But, uh, so do you fight those other players or do they fight you or anything like that? Yeah, you got to find them though. Like you don't know who you're fighting until it, you're fighting it, them. And it could be AI or it could be other players because there's the, there's a AI in there too. Yeah. Hmm. So I, I did a little bit of that and it was fun. It's kind of a different mode of gameplay, which feels like I'm still getting my practice without all of that like extra shit going on. And, and DMZ, you drop in, you loot, and you drop out. And then, yeah. you, and then you get to keep what you looted, right? Yeah. That, and you get I'm to keep all that over it. for, the next, uh, <laughs> that's, for that's, the next drop. And like, that's my calling. I didn't get a lot of, I didn't really know what I was doing in my uh, the comms for my other players wasn't on but like it's it feels exciting it feels like it's something new and i know they're just doing tarkov it's like just like with warzone but it's like um i think it's going to be something that's going to kind of stay cool and fresh and i'm excited to like explore more about oh, nice. it nice yeah i'm excited i'm excited to try it like i really had fun last time i played it i just haven't had a chance to play it again so i will try today and we'll see how that goes blah 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 warzone's gonna be hard for you but just don't get into any gunfights honestly you can make it all the way to the end of warzone as long as you do what the team asks well, you to do, do you guys have why to don't tell we, me why don't we warm up with some team deathmatch you know because that's sure. not gonna translate to warzone but it'll help her shooting at least i mean yeah. it will, well last time i was doing really good until then everybody upgraded their guns and didn't tell me that they uh, were upgrading also, their guns also there's gonna be a uh, compass up top so uh -huh. so when you hear people saying like 125 west just actually oh. we should warm up with dmz <laughs> because yeah, dmz is gonna be more like what warzone will be like actually cool so also okay. do, you, do you do you guys really do go buy those calls i never hear you guys call it a 125 west honestly i haven't done it since PUBG. to be honest uh, i did it during modern warfare especially if we're like getting shots so like shots coming question. from 123 so well, let's say let's say you say 125 west what does that mean to me what it means look so up it, at your compass so and turn your head until well, it says 125 well, well it could well, i mean depending on his position it could be different like but, but the compass numbers are always the same it's so 365 degrees it, always instead of Calling specific numbers, I'll just more say like fire from northwest. Like there's a yeah, there's but a even but if you say the number and you turn northwest, it's always the same numbers. Okay, like immediate north is always zero, and then it goes 360 degrees around. So if you're facing the wrong way and you're like, so, there's somebody over at 270. If you turn it 270, no matter what, yeah. you're always gonna those numbers stay the same. You for call all of us. out the direction for a general firefight, but if you have visual, you call out the number plus the direction. Oh. It should be fun. You'll see it when we fucking do it. All yeah. right. <laughs> On to the holidays. Yay, the holidays are holidays. here. Woo. Holidays. When does Christmas technically start, and what are your Thanksgiving traditions? After Halloween. 
Christmas no. starts after Halloween. Yes, Christmas it does. starts after Thanksgiving. No, Thanksgiving is just there. It's as a little stepchild before we get to Christmas. Because listen, we just child. want Christmas. We yeah. just want Christmas. Nobody gives a shit Thanksgiving, about Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving is just Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving is just the love, dinner that sustains you for the shopping. But I love mm-hmm. Thanksgiving. I mean, it's still a thing, right? It's still, still a stepchild that you should not neglect. It's the, otherwise, it will come. Bite you. What is that guy gonna do? Make you go to sleep because you ate too much turkey? I can pr- yeah. I can prove that Christmas starts after Halloween. Yeah. Why? The nightmare before Christmas exists, and that is a Christmas movie and a Halloween movie. So uh Case so closed. Christmas starts <laughs> on the Friday after Thanksgiving when they light the tree downtown. Yes, exactly. That's when it fucking yeah. starts. No. That was the correct That's answer. Oh, you guys guy. are wrong. Oh, oh, like, oh, you're gonna rely on the city to dictate di- when cr- you can feel yeah. the holiday spirit? I mean, we can't really because the city <laughs> yes. already has Christmas trees up. So, like wherever you go in any like stores, all the Christmas so, stuff is you know, out. You know how you feel thanks- thankful for Thanksgiving? Yeah. Uh-huh. You know where that spirit comes from? What? From Christmas. The holiday <laughs> spirit makes you feel thankful. <laughs> Motherfucker, okay? half of everybody just won't shit for Christmas. That's it. That's the it. Christmas spirit is gimme, gimme, gimme. No, it's not. It's give, give, give. Hey, it's, it's merry, merry, merry. Uh, a trend I'm noticing in Hollywood is there's a lot of violence-based Christmas movies coming out. There's, yeah. what? there's one called Violent Night, uh-huh. and then there's one with John Leguizamo. I want to see that. I, I don't know what the, what it's this called. This would have started, but, but I really feel like they're trying to find like a new Die Hard. Mm-hmm. You know, like <laughs> why um, is Die Hard Christmas movie? Because it is. It takes, pla- it takes place during Christmas. during Christmas. The whole thing is like they're at a Christmas party. Yeah, I've never seen Die Hard. What? Oh, oh well, you I fucked up. All right, so nineteen seventy four. It has a fucking uh, Alan Rickman. Alan Rickman. Nineteen seventy four has change anything. A horror movie, Black Christmas, which came out then, and I think that was kind of the start of like trying to do the holiday. Um, Christmas, uh, the holiday horror movies. So then you got your Halloweens and you Christmas, and then you got a. What's the, there's a Valentine's Day one. Oh, my bloody Valentine. So. So wait, do people really train. believe Christmas starts after Halloween? Yes, because uh, what what good Thanksgiving movie you've heard of? I mean, uh, it doesn't trains, matter, but Thanksgiving and automobiles. people come together to have food. Turkey, we have turkey around Thanksgiving. There, there is an E tier movie that I really think we should watch. E? It's about it's look like ABCD it's, e? it's one of those yeah. purposefully bad movies, you know, like yeah. it's, it's one of those like you know so bad it's good. <laughs> it's about a killer turkey. It's called Thanks Killing. Okay, <laughs> okay, I'm here for that. One hundred percent here for that. Okay, cool. I mean, look, Thanksgiving's fun. What about like the backyard football and the Macy's Day Parade yeah. and the food and the family oh, okay. going out you, to smoke you know weed what, and then coming what, back in? The Macy's Day Parade. I don't really watch it anymore, but I do remember as a kid that was like a really big thing in our household. We just the family would gather around and watch New York. Yeah. If it TV. wasn't for Thanksgiving, we would have Christmas for two months straight. And that's okay. That's yeah, good. Nobody, that's like, not okay. But, but Chris, also, don't forget about. Cares. About no. Christmas food. Like, nobody gives a shit about Christmas Are food. Are you kidding me? What is Christmas food? Listen, we go all out Egg for Christmas. No milk, milk and turkey cookies. or chicken. Whatever you want to do for Christmas dinner. Turkey or chicken. But, but we, it's we, that's not known mm, for Christmas, though. Yeah, Thanksgiving is like Christmas. But, no, listen. Like, there isn't really a Christmas 50, 50. cuisine. Like uh, no, no, bro. We, we have Christmas ham. dinner. We have Christmas dinner, y'all. Shut the fuck up, all right? We, <laughs> who, we, who's we? My, my family. Well, uh, your family can do whatever they want. Well, like, culturally, there's not like. There is. Have you not seen I'll be home for Christmas? Christmas, the whole premise of this, I'll be home for that Christmas dinner. But what is Christmas but what dinner? Christmas cooking? dinner is what's, essentially what's, like a smaller Thanksgiving dinner. What's yeah. the iconic meal? Fuck that iconic kind of meal. You eat dinner, you have That's some not, cocoa, and you watch, you watch a fireplace. But, My bad. But, like, but, with, but with Thanksgiving, you have a whole thing, right? You have a turkey, you have sweet potatoes, you have a green bean, you have Sweet yams, potato pie. Like, but, but you know you why You know why we have food for Thanksgiving? Because we are thankful. And why you're thankful? Because know. of the holiday spirit. What? Yeah, but that's... What, what, what's your guys' favorite Thanksgiving uh, fixing? Sweet potato casserole. Mm. Love Damn. sweet potato Sweet casserole. potato pie. Sweet potato pie. Yeah, I don't like... And I'm not a fan what of about sweet pumpkin potato. pumpkin pie? Pumpkin pie can eat a hot dick. Pumpkin pie My is amazing. My motherfucking family's from the mm-hmm. South, and we're bringing a sweet potato pie, and it's going to be on fucking point. No, mm. you bring you the bring collard sweet greens, po- because you, they're the best. Ooh, bringing green. that in the sweet potato fucking pie. It's so good. I love collard greens, uh, but I'm a, I think my favorite, aside from the turkey, obviously, but like uh, deviled eggs. Mashed potatoes. Love deviled eggs. Mashed potatoes. Love deviled eggs. For Thanksgiving? Hell yeah. No, hell yeah. Huh. Deviled eggs are deviled eggs? That's Thanksgiving I mean, staple. they're great. I just didn't think they were. Also, I See, Watchdog I, I, knows what I mean. Watchdog is confused that you said sweet potato casserole. Wait, wait, 
what you mean sweet potato casserole and then you put like, tiny I don't know where they do that. It. Uh. It's so good. I don't like sweet potatoes. Uh. Oh good. my god, you guys are trash. Also, I don't think I like collard greens. And also controversial opinion. Uh, cranberry sauce is overrated. It yeah, is. yes, it is. It you is. know why you gotta have cranberry sauce? Because you didn't make your turkey right, and it's fucking dry. Yeah. <laughs> now, now you want to talk about some motherfucking turkey? You want to talk about some turkey? Why don't you come through? All right, why don't you come through and have a little, little, little bit of what turkey? I make? I start. I start two fucking days early. All right. First off, you want to get a brine. All right, we're gonna he, do a does, nice wet fucking brine cooking. on this. We're gonna make sure we got a bunch of uh, aromatics in there. We got some apples. We got some oranges. All right, a couple of bay leaves or peppercorns. All right, we're gonna well, go in. All right, some mistletoe. Everything. All right. It's just going to be delicious. And then after that, you want to dry it off. You want to get it properly fucking dry because you're not here to boil your turkey. Well, like, like a, like a, with a like fryer. You like, you just kind of pat it dry. You let it sit and dry. You want to get, you like want to make sure it drains times. properly, but you want to make sure the juice is still staying. And then after that, you want to get, you want to get your hands in some butter, garlic, and thyme. And you want to massage that under the skin of the turkey, under the entire skin. You want to get all of its crevices. Under the skin. Under the skin. Okay. Under the skin. So you, you peel the skin, skin out and then you put I the skin, lift the skin up. He, he like he like creates a pocket and then just Ew! Goes I got because pictures you, of my hands inside you, of the turkey yeah, side. Because if you put it on top of the skin, it That's won't penetrate. Nasty. But no, it, it, it won't get absorbed by the turkey. Dude, this is why you hate Thanksgiving because you never had good turkey. You ain't done the turkey right. And then listen, yeah. there's even more steps after that because once you get it in there, into the oven, you want to lay it down on the bed. You want to make sure it's got the nice little thing, little drip tray up under it. And then you still want to put all those aromatics inside of the crevice of the turkey so that it's cooking those aromatics into it. And you want to baste it. You want to keep basting it. You just want to make sure it stays nice and wet and just cooks You're nice like and Bob slow. Belcher. I am. And that's fucking, oh, game A1 turkey. Oh. He also puts hearts in his heart gravy. Yeah. Oh, yeah, the turkey gravy. Oh. Now, that's when you get all the innards in. You boil those boys for about two hours. They kind of make this like turkey stock. So good. I mean, the gravy still comes You guys comes are eating great. hearts. You just cut up a little. You cut yeah. up a couple of the hearts. You, you put okay it in the gravy. Hearts? You don't even know that you're tasting it. You're just tasting a nice, flavorful turkey gravy. So good. He so I have a question. When you get inside the skin, do you peel out the fat or you leave the fat in there? No, I'm just lifting up the skin and making a little pocket. I leave all that in there. Like skin, oh, it's flavor. Yeah, but when you're eating it, when you get a piece, you can remove your own skin if you want to. I, 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 I stay with chicken. That's what. I stay, I stay. You have chicken on Thanksgiving? I'd rather. Yeah, I don't. This is turkey. why he doesn't like Thanksgiving because he's not eating Thanksgiving food. Hey, we gonna pet, have you over. Pet. You know what? <laughs> You can like <laughs> let go of whole year. Don't have a cheat meal. Have a cheat meal on Thanksgiving because all the fixings, oh, all the food, like it's so good. I starve myself for days for Thanksgiving <laughs> 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 because Thanksgiving food. I don't care. Like me and my siblings, we will always cook food because you know our parents don't really know how to cook Thanksgiving meal. But they never did. Please tell so, me I'll still throw a little bit of Indian shit in there, like samosas on the side. Oh yeah, mom will bring samosas. Oh, mom will try to like help or something, and then put masalas on like Brussels sprouts. But masala Brussels sprouts actually really. Oh, I'm good. here for that. Nice um, and kind of spicy. Yeah. So we oh, all like yeah. between three of us, our siblings, we will divide up, conquer which one we do. So it's a great family tradition where parents don't do shit. It's just three of us in the kitchen, drinking. Uh, Smoking and all that. It was fun. I don't know if one of you guys made this or where I had this, but somebody brought cornbread that was infused with jalapenos. Ooh, oh, yeah. jalapeno cornbread. Oh, that is amazing. Yeah. That was fucking oh, mac and yeah. cheese with jalapeno? Yeah. That's like mac and staple. cheese with jalapeno? What? Mac that and, is amazing. That mac and flame. cheese with jalapeno. You have to make sure you cook jalapenos a little bit before, and then you have five different kinds of cheese freshly nice, shredded. Nice. Five Be- different kinds of cheese? And not like definitely cheddar but like have fancy one like a so you don't get the velveta yeah. like no oh, man no velveta is not a cheese up your great i have a question because i'm curious now pat do you do you cook yeah i cook what like but what things besides do you cook? like do you have a dish that rice. like you make <laughs> oh no i don't do that besides ground turkey and rice like do you have a like <laughs> like nubby's over here talking about a signature mac and cheese you know like i used to, I, I used to, oh, I used to make a signature i used to make a signature chili rice though wait, yeah wait Ooh. wait Wait, wait a minute. You have turkey all year round. Yeah. he That's all he eats it's is turkey. turkey. and right. You've turned turkey into a shit filler. So what's up with Thanksgiving? You're going to have chicken for Thanksgiving? Like, you I, don't like, I, don't, I like ground turkey. I don't like that kind of turkey. Pat is just creating chaos. Dude, turkey chaos. is turkey. Ground no, turkey there's two is- different kinds of turkey. Ground turkey is like ground beef. All right. That kind of turkey Bullshit. is... A whole turkey. Ground turkey is bullshit. Even Nico doesn't eat ground turkey. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, you eat ground turkey. Eats ground turkey. No, he just came here to roast you. <laughs> <laughs> like, but I think we need to take you proper shopping. 
We could take you to Trader Joe's and all that. Y'all go to Trader Joe's. Trader Joe's has good shit. I, yeah, I, it's I, great. And it's affordable, too. Yeah. And they're like, really good. the cheese section is amazing. I, I love their cheese. Pat, I think, oh, listen. I, I, because I come here to roast you. Do, I think I make, make it very uh, easy. Uh, you ask me one dish I make. I make, one, I make a mean-ass chili rice, though. I've never had it. I've, I've never had, had chili or rice. It. I don't even know. Yeah. Then bring chili rice for Thanksgiving. That's what yeah. what yeah. about you, Mickey? What's your, what's your dish? Oh, it's uh, deviled eggs. Oh, yeah. That's right. You made the deviled eggs last time, right? Yeah. They were good. They were fucking good. sister's recipe. Oh, nice. Yeah. yeah. Mine's two. Um, jalapeno mac and cheese is always a thing. And sweet potato casserole. The jalapeno cornbread, you gotta, you gotta make that again. And yeah. that one. That oh, really um, Chrissy Teigen has a really good jalapeno bacon cornbread. Yeah. I'm oh. trying to make it, but I think I need to make bacon crispy on the side and then put it in. Um, For me, I mean, I, I did learn the turkey, but it's like 10 different people's recipes. But my pie game is what I stand for. Mm. Uh, I like to make my crust from scratch. I like to bring a dessert. I'm going to bring you an apple pie and I'm going to bring you a sweet potato pie, baby. What do you mean by scratch? Do you I mean like, like get... that you go to Kroger and they already have like the pie and no, the, no, no, no. The, I go the bakery thing and you just uh-uh. put stuff I get in. a bunch uh-uh. of flour, I get some water, I get some eggs, and then I like, if I'm doing a sweet potato pie, I like to put a little uh, cinnamon and uh, nutmeg into the crust already. And but then how I make do you make the crust. the crust, though? So you make dough. Mix it. Right, you get it all together. You Need get a bunch it. of butter in there. You get this piece of dough. You let it sit in the fridge for a couple hours. You get it out. You roll it out. That's it. And then and you then got you dough. You put it on top of the pan. When you say scratch, like everything from ingredients, oh. and then like, put it. Like it, I just got a bunch of flour and water essentially to start with. Yeah. And so, but how do you know what needs to go in it? Recipe. I've made it a few times, but there is a recipe. Also, it's super easy. Like to make a ball of dough, you can make one in ten minutes with like literally three ingredients. It's very simple. Mm. Like a lot of things are very simple, and it's if it, it's just a matter of time. If you have time, like you can make something elevate so quickly with just apple pie, just making your own crust. Yeah. Just simple apples. Just it's fresh like when apples, we do a skit so and we get the music made from scratch, and we're like, oh, that really fit the mood of the thing instead yeah. of having to invato it. But mm. also, <laughs> is way easy. So what I'm saying to say that is this. Just buy the crust. The, the store bought crust is really yeah. The store bought crust is not that bad. No, no. I it's mean not. it's good, but when you can make it yourself, I like to add the little extra additives. Also, I just want to say, Bunk. people, whoever you guys, when you guys cooking Thanksgiving, please use fresh green beans, use fresh sweet potatoes, not the canned one, and do not use canned cranberry. I just don't hate make, it when people use cranberry. those three things. Oh, just don't make. Yeah. Not cranberry. It. It's, I, cranberry sucks. It sucks. The it's only can you guys don't like cranberry? Cranberry nah. sauce. I like cranberry, cranberry sauce. sauce. is so it's, overrated. It's, it's nice and tarty. Overrated. Mm-hmm. But but uh, what are you eating? I guess what I've eaten it with. I guess I've seen with that bland ass turkey that you guys are eating with. Boy, don't you talk about my turkey like that? <laughs> you, it's not supposed to be bland. It's like putting a one sauce on your steak, right? Like if it's that a just good means steak, you kind of fucked up your steak. Wait 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 wait. No, wait, wait. if it's a good steak, I mean, you don't wait, need wait, anything wait, wait, on wait, it. Wait wait wait. Okay, not on the steak, but on the side, just for a little. I've That's had the some same gr- thing. No, when I've, you get your wagyu steak at fucking Fogo de Chao, do they bring out a bottle of a one with it? Look, I don't do this. Very much anymore because I agree a well cooked steak should stand on its own. But come on, a one, a little bit of a one does. I feel you. Just, just like you know, maybe, maybe two or three bites with a one. You know, just like a one. If it's a good steak, you don't need anything with it. Well, I agree. If I'm being honest, we're ending this podcast for one reason. I'm fucking starving. I'm I am so really hungry. hungry. Yeah, yeah. This has been a long, long I pregame am. to lunch. We've just been four playing lunch for the last <laughs> hour. And I got another 30 minutes to wait, but I'm about to go have some snacks before. Oh um, dead serious, though, guys. Please enjoy your Thanksgiving. Yes. It doesn't matter what you want to eat. I know we're roasting pad a bit, but like cranberry chicken. sauce is fine. Eat your chicken. Just Duck. enjoy it. Enjoy the time with your family. Try to Yeah, chill. watch some football. And be football. thankful. Play some football. Play some more zone. Yeah. Maybe and with that, we're getting stuff. out of here, but stick around for the raid. Yeah. Raid! Who are we raiding? Raid. 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 Who? Raid. Who? Raid. We're raiding Darude. Darude. Yeah. Tell them the normies raid. send their regards. Raid. 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 Oh, oh, raid. this Sunday is a watch party, isn't it? Yes, the, oh, walk, yeah. the Walking Dead watch party on Sunday. Sunday, Walking Dead watch party. Please come by. Yes. Please come by. <laughs> it's going to be fun on a bun. Series finale is finally here. Any of y'all watching The Walking Dead on this? Yes, this podcast? Bye, guys. Bye. 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 I might watch it out of context.